All right, Nathan, what are we doing today? We're doing the exhaust today. We're happy with up here. Everything's done up here. We're going to build the exhaust. This is probably the biggest job to finish this car. And the biggest exhaust we've ever done too, because there's a fair bit involved in this one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get the car up and have a look at what we're dealing with, figure out what our plan is, figure out what I bought, all the bends and stuff, make sure we got enough and see what we can make up, I guess. Cause yeah, yeah today's gonna be a good one on the welder. Yeah, you, you can see I got my welding jacket this is on. His welding jacket. <laughs> look at the holes. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's have a look. Someone give me a bolt that I just have nothing the bolt. So that will come out. Yeah. And then this will join to this. Yeah. Screamer pipe will just tie into like that. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, because that'll be it. Point of most flow words together. All right, so this exhaust system, the reason why we say there's a little bit to this one, um, this one is a little bit different. So, obviously from our turbo, we have a pipe that runs down like this, it's gonna run down the length of the car like that. We're gonna have a muffler at the back, and then we're just gonna have like a dumpy or something right at the back of the bumper there. But we also need to have our crossover pipes and everything, because obviously we've got the feed into the turbo for exhaust, which comes out like here. Wait, it's joined to that, isn't it? Yeah. That's a really bad booger weld, that's what that was supposed to be. <laughs> so, this goes into our manifold that comes from Spool and Boost here. What it has is a little flange here, where this manifold needs to join to it. So it needs to do a crossover pipe, which goes underneath the engine and around like that, with an expansion joint in the middle, so that it doesn't crack with, you know, the engine expanding, contracting throughout its cycle of life. So that's the other thing we need to make. Now, on top of that, we also need to put somewhere in here, a wastegate. This is my wastegate which then needs to have a pipe which comes out, which is gonna go back into the exhaust here, like so. And that's our wastegate. So this is three and a half inch, this is two and a half inch, and this... Uh, one and a half inch. I think it was like one and a half inch pipe. So there's a whole bunch of pipes that we're dealing with here. So I've been to the exhaust shop, I've got a bunch of bends, a bunch of flanges, the big three and a half inch, two and a half inch, expansion joint, and... A good little one and a half inch pipe, which is even mandrel bent as well too. It's all mild steel, we're not doing anything too crazy here. Um, it's just because that's all we can weld. We can't weld stainless, so we're just going to do it out of mild steel and that'll serve its purpose. No drums at all, so anyway, let's have a look at what we're dealing with, shall yeah, we? Yeah, that's it. So, this is what we're dealing with. This is where the left hand bank comes out, as well as the, obviously the turbo dump. You can see how tight that is, so there's not a lot of room for activities in here. Be tight. So it's gonna be really tight to try and figure out how this is all gonna work. So what do you reckon we do? Do you reckon we... I reckon we... I'm gonna bolt the flange on. Yeah. And then I reckon we sit that dump pipe in. Yeah. And then I reckon we get some two and a half inch pipe and see how, how it all sits looks. in there. Yeah. Um, because it's gonna be... I reckon they're gonna be pretty much touching each other. I think this section here is gonna be the hard section once we get past there. It's oh, like, once it's we get past here, sailing. it's piece ass. This is pretty much straight back. Couple of whoop de doos and... Bob's your uncle. So I've got that flange sitting on. So that means we can like tack some pipe to it or whatever. Yep. So I want to slip in our, the rest of that dump. Yep. And then I'll get some pipe and squish it in there and see how it's all going to go. So you just put that in, you realize how little room you have in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, that makes it easy to figure out. You sure you want to do a 90? Maybe a 45 might work. Look at that. Let me cut it here, because that way we can always cut more. Yeah, all right. Okay. So I'm kind of hoping with this cut, we can get this bend to come straight down and we'll have enough room. Oh, lovely, Nathan. Look at this. So like from there, we can come straight down to here and then just 45. Perfect. What do you reckon? Tack it. Um, is the gas on? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, she's a bit bubbly. <laughs> that's better. Now you're welding with gas. Okay. Lovely. All right, so that's the beginning of our nightmare. Yeah. We've got to cut a 90 that has like a little bit of a to it. A little what? A little bit of a. How do you describe that? I'd like to see you put that on a job sheet. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be cut. It's got to be cut almost has to go like this. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. 
He's gonna eyeball the shit out of this. Do you want to start high and work our way down? That's what I was just thinking. Which line are you working off now? Because I'm very confused. <laughs> this one here. Which one? This one. Point to it. Let's go for that. I'll just cut it and then we'll just pick it up. Yeah. What do you reckon? Are you confident? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's got to like be cut the other way to bring it back in now. Do you know what I mean? It almost needs to have that bent down a bit further. So what are we doing, Nate? Uh, we're pulling this off because we want to change the angle of the dangle. Yeah, it's pointing a little bit too far back towards the car. So, oh, look how much play we got. Yeah, so we, yeah, we cut that. There's heaps to bring it down, so yeah. yeah. So if we just snip these. So this is the joy of doing exhaust, trial and error. <laughs> And there's lots of trial and error. And just guesswork. Yeah. That's what, honestly, that's what it comes down to. That's Beautiful. Just bending it a bit. Oh, not bad. We just gotta give it a bit more angle. So then we just need to turn that that way, this top one here, that way. I think it'll work, but we just gotta get the right twist. Yeah. And I think it's gonna be as snug as a rug. Ready? Yep, go. I can't see anything. Alright, now attack this pipe. Oh yeah, we can just do it, just do it there. And then we gotta go to the iron up for that way. Is that touch? All right, so we've got our bends which come down through here. We're really happy with how we fluked that. I'd love to say that we did that on purpose, but it was a fluke, let's be honest. <laughs> um, so what we need to do now is we need to connect this up into that there, which isn't too bad. We just got to sort of kick out that way and then kick out that way. But what we need to do is we need to include this. If you haven't seen one of these before, it's just a flexible joint. It's going to go in here. And what this allows for is that it's going to allow for expansion in the block, because obviously as it heats up, the block's going to get a bit bigger, and heat and shrink, and whatever it is. Uh, and if you don't do use one of these, you can end up cracking this crossover pipe. I've never used one of these before. I've been keen to use one. I've never actually realized just how flexible they actually are. It's pretty impressive. Mm. So we're going to set this somewhere in here, like that there. And then Nate's just got a little bit of a, I don't know what we're going to call this, like a 35 maybe that we made up. And we're going to sit that maybe like that. And now we need something to go into that. Not even close. <laughs> it's gonna have to be we put this up and then I reckon we need to do another bend in. Ask me the 90 again. Sorry. Damn, that looks mean. Why are you so mean? Oh, Damn, man. my tax are on point today. Alrighty. Lovely! Slide into it. Oi! There goes my tack. Yeah, I need to take off 10 mil. Yeah, you need to take off. Which is really annoying. What are you doing? Trying to cut a pie out. <laughs> it's not going to work, but we'll see how we go. You're going to do it by hand? Yeah, I'm going to have to do it by hand. Alright, wish me luck. Don't cut my hand off. Huh? Don't lose any fingers. Ah, come on. How'd we go, Natalie? That was not easy to cut, but not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Let's have a look. The Cinderella's shoe fit. <laughs> this is the like the last piece of the puzzle. Oh, that'll work. That's not bad for a wing and cut by hand. I'm quite happy with that. Alright, just hold it there, right? I have weld no, your fingers to I have it. no gloves on. And I'm gonna hold this tiny little piece. Yeah, that's you. fine. Yeah. No, it's not fine. Get me a glove. That's fine. Oh god. Can you like not burn my finger? Did you just let go? Yeah, because it burnt me. Okay, that's alright. You can let go now. Thanks. <laughs> that bad. looks me. I'm wrapped at that. 
Hell yeah, I'm right with that. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm really happy with that. For our first ever crossover vibe, I think it's a great, like, great effort. I think it looks good. Looks, it flows nice. So now we need to put a waste gate on it. I think we fully weld this, get it fully welded and done, and then we worry about the waste gate later. Okay. I'm happy to do that. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely crossover pipe there, Johnny boy. Ooh. All right, well, there's a reason why Nathan's the welder out of the two of us, but that's all right, because this thing's getting wrapped anyway, so you're not gonna see any of it. Did not too bad, like these ones are really nice, but then a couple of times I blew through, so it's a little bit ugly, but. That's okay, we'll wrap it and no one will ever see the crimes. Now we can fit it up and start working on the exhaust. The rest of the exhaust, I suppose, yeah. Let's do it. I want to see how it fits up. Well, well, it looks like it still fits, which is good. It turned out well. It, it passes the rattle check. It wraps around everything really nicely. I mean, yeah. look at that. That's not bad considering two numpties did it. Oh, hang on, three numpties did it. Yeah. No, I'm happy. I did, I will admit, we had to clear here a little bit. Yeah. Um, we had to just sand off a little bit of the bell housing bracket, I guess. It, oh, that's a sump. Yeah, I hope you didn't go through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it just had to clear into a little bit of the sump because it was a bit close, but now now she's all good. Uh, yeah. All right, Let's now slide we're... in the dumpy. Yeah. Imagine if it hit, because we haven't had this in the whole Yeah. Have a look. Perfect. Plenty of room. Sit there. All right. Just all right. Um, build the rest for us, Nathan, and we'll, we'll be done. What? <laughs> <laughs> So straight out from there, is it, or? Uh, yeah, maybe it might pass that, and then 45, and then <laughs> all the way to the back. Yep. Actually, now we might go 45, snake it down here, and then I reckon we snake it into here. Yeah, I think that's what needs to happen, because it, it follows in that sort yeah. of area, yeah. So there is a bit of mucking around in it, fiddling around, but other than that. All right, so what we need to do is we need to do this clamp up here, where these two join. And Nathan's holding our dump pipe in place, so hopefully it ends up in the right location. How's that feel? Is that oh, that's solid? Me. Yeah, that's good. Yeah? Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. Alright, let's go back up and go from there. Why are we good pipe never get to it? I know. It feels like it's doing the impact. Oh, yeah. oh. Please, 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 please. Hell yeah. There you go. So what we're gonna do is we'll put a flange here so we can heat wrap all that. Yep. I mean. Yeah, we can put a flange there and then run out to here. That looks good. We did that a lot quicker than I thought. I reckon we we clamp that now, Michelle. I reckon you're right. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. shorten that one a little bit. That's a nice looking flange. It is a nice looking flange. I like how it's flattened off at the bottom. Yeah, well I do too. too. I rate that. It's because it's like these boys are using some pretty big pipes. Oh, we could almost line that up. This is exciting to see this come together. It really is. I cannot wait to fire it up. That is the straightest exhaust ever. It <laughs> just literally, whoop, oh, it's heat wreck. Do you that? That's better. That's where it's gonna go. Can you weld the So now I'm really happy with how far we've gotten, but obviously our main issue now is we need to hang it. So I reckon we're gonna try and use these two bolts here and, and hang it off that. And then we're going to use the original uh, hanger back here. We've got some rod, and I reckon we just come out of this and into this. Yep. Uh, that way, this is all hung, and then we can do the uh, run our muffler out. Yeah, I reckon. The point is, we've made it to here. And the point is, we've made it to here. And there's plenty of room. Yeah. So I'm really happy with that. It looks good too. So we need to make up these mounts. So we're just using a bit of rod that we got laying around. I forgot to order like actual brackets, I suppose. So I have some rod which will work just fine. There's no issue with using it. But what I want to do 
is sort of figure out the shape of this thing so that I can make and bend like the rod into like an S pretty much like this and it's just easy to make it out of wire first and then copy that with the actual rod so we need to make like a loop like a, bra a bracket there then a loop so this rod that we're using is actually copper coated I think it's an old earthing strap for our house <laughs> it's the only rod that I had laying around that's why we get the green flame do we know if it's gonna weld? I don't know, it might have to take like drying the copper coating off Shockproof dog with a half piece, and that really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben. <bet. Okay. laughs> this is the world's strongest exhaust hanger. Oh my god. <laughs> this is overkill for a hanger. Look at that weld, though. I know. Not bad, huh? Beefcakes. That was two runs. Whatever you call it. You know, they, they layer or whatever it is. Jesus Christ. So while. Everyone else was doing really cool fun stuff. I was just sitting there with nothing to do and I decided I'm gonna make a wastegate. I've got a bit of tube, I've notched it, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Now, I might get criticized on my position of wastegate, but there's not really many other places. <laughs> so I've already like marked it, drilled it, and started the hole saw, and then I remembered I should probably show you guys what the hell I'm doing. So this is gonna go straight onto that, and then our wastegate will bolt to that, which I'll weld on a flange. And then our, um, our wastegate pipe will tee back into the exhaust there. So, simple as that. So I've just got to drill, hole saw that out, weld that on like that. Bada bim, bada boom. Looks good. What have you been working on, Michael? Well, I've got half my mount made up so far. It's the world's strongest exhaust mount, but it's just because that's the size rod that we had laying around. But I've made that to go under there, and now all I need to do is just go do 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 into here to make like a, a bottom do, do, hanger. Do, do, do. Hopefully it won't be too low, so... It's, <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too low, so it just sits across here and then just straighten that and yeah, it should be, should be good after that, I reckon. But we're getting there, slowly, slowly. Hell yeah! Boom! Absolutely love it. Very nice. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm good. <laughs> that was <looks> sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where are we at? Nathan's busy working on his screamer pipe because that's the important thing right now, clearly. It's part of the exhaust pipe. And look how good that looks. Look how much that finishes it off. It does. All right, so we have these world's strongest exhaust mounts made up now. So that's all good, that's done. This one doesn't really matter too much because it's already holding by the turbo anyway. This is just to sort of take the stress off the turbo, I guess. Daniel has made up his mount back here. That just runs off the ex existing original one there. That's good. Um, but once Nathan welds up his screamer pipe, because I know he's not going to ditch that right now, we're going to move to doing the muffler, I guess. Yeah. You're very happy with that. Oh, mate, that looks sick. All right. I'm in love with this exhaust. Let's get this done. All right, so. This is our muffler. It is tiny. Yeah, it's tiny because it's the only one I could get in time that was three and a half inch in and out from the exhaust shop that I went to, so. Hello! Uh, <laughs> go again. <laughs> oh God, this thing's gonna be loud. All right, let's set it up. I figured that way if it's a little bit offset, we don't have to come as far over and it's away oh, from the shop. perfect, yeah. I nailed that. All right, now all we need to do is make that go to there, which, you know, as history shows from the panel van, that's not that hard. So that's pretty much where it is gonna go. <laughs> All right, so, like that. Let's build to it. Look at that exhaust though. Got a boom tube? Yeah. Got to have a nice chamfer on. The old. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe come in 20 mil, I reckon. Alright, thanks. How's that look? That's good. That's better. That, that's a bit. Tacky tacky, we take it off, we're talking fully welding. Yeah, I reckon. Let's do it. Ticky ticky! Oh, he's gonna go the whole not looking. Yeah. Alright. Alright, that's tacked on there. With that done, we have a fully hung, full exhaust. Just needs to be completely welded up now. Yeah, because she's a little wobbly here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing? What are we doing? I've got to fully weld all my screamer bits and bobs. And then while me and Michael work on finishing this exhaust or fully welding it, we can get Daniel to wrap this. Paint it and wrap it. Paint it and wrap it. That way we can kind of just, we might need to even out the jobs now because we got to get these done. Yep. Paint, wrap, and then all we're going to do is fully weld the exhaust, which we're almost done. Just got to make a hanger for the rear. And then, yeah. You want to push that bit into the middle, Michelle? Yeah. You start welding, Michael, I'll get the dump pipe off. Well, our exhaust is off. It's all tacked up, ready to go. Now it's a matter of uh, fully welding it, so you know what that means. It means it's time for our favourite part of building an exhaust on the channel, which is slammer welding shots. <laughs> How'd you go? All done. Um, I ended up just like sort of all the way around. Just, that way it stops it from like burning through and blowing holes in it because it's easy done in this situation I find. And we also find that in all the exhausts we've done, it's the way to end up with the smallest and neatest weld. Yeah. Without getting like a big booger weld around it. For us anyway. So it looks alright. I think it's come up pretty good. Now we've got to clean them all up with a wire brush. Take it outside, paint it. Wait for it to dry, wrap this section, because this is our dump pipe section. And mount all the rest up, and then we're pretty much done. Let's do it. Oh man, look how good that looks in cast iron. This is our factory crossover pipe. Now cover it up! <laughs> Hide the crime. That looks angry, doesn't it? Michael was shooting flames. It's just like, whoa, blah, whoa, blah. <laughs> You know what I like about this method? I like the way the black contrasts against the silver on this growler muscle. Yeah, I do too. We did this on the HQ, remember? Oh, <laughs> it. Got it? Yep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> have you even thought it was going to be? You got the front, Daniel? Yep. Got that heavy side, you know? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> Alright, ready? So, Rotate! <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's a pretty easy exhaust to get up. That does not look exhausting at all. Okay, and I'm on. Done. Holy dole, that looks mega sick! <laughs> <laughs> Everything looks really good, man. I reckon we actually nailed this exhaust. It does look sick! <laughs> it's fairly intricate, like you said, there's a fair bit to it, and it's actually... And it's actually worked out mint. Yeah, it looks good. I love this crossover pipe. I love the screen pipe. That looks, this turned out awesome. Well, let's bring it down, do, bring that, down, clamp do that up, up and then roll it out so we can see what the broom tube looks like. It looks alright. It's actually sitting just perfect. And you've got easily 120 mil clearance. Yeah, clear the oh, yeah. way. Look at that. Yeah, More, 150. Yeah, heaps. No. I like the black tip. I reckon it looks good. Yeah. It's a good contrast against the white. I reckon it looks good. Plenty of clearance. That's it. Good work. Well done, well done.
That is essentially one Turbo LS, all the hardware, done. Pretty much, except for battery it's, it's done, yeah. It's ready for a go over, a real big go over before fire up. Well, that's it. The exhaust is finally done. We've buttoned everything out. It looks killer. I can't stop looking at it. It's actually terrible. It actually reminds me of the real. HQ exhaust, how we just kept staring at the underneath of that car. Yeah. Because it looks so good. That, that, I love that too. But this has turned out really, really nice. It's tight. It's intricate. There's a lot going on, like as far as the crossover and everything goes. But we actually nailed it. Mm. That was probably the biggest issue, getting that crossover right. And we got that done pretty quickly. Yeah, it looks killer. Thanks to Pie Cuts. Word of the day, Pie Cuts. I, I thought it was Boom Tube. Oh, it could be both. <laughs> Boom tube or pie cuts. That can be the word of the day for the day. You take your pick. Either way, that's it for this episode. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. If you do want to see this thing fire up for the first time, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell thingy. If you want to support the channel, head over to our website. There's a bunch of merch there. It helps support the channel to keep going and keep building bigger and better projects. Next episode, we're going to be firing it up. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Next episode, we might be firing it up. Next episode, we're firing it up. I think we got There's a list of things we need to go to, uh, go through, but we're booking Jake in. We're gonna try book him in so we can get this thing ready. If we're booking Jake, serious Shrazen is about to go down. Yes. Anyway, hope you've liked the episode. We'll uh, catch you next week when we hopefully hear this thing fire for the first time. No promises, but we're really gonna try. <laughs> catch you then. Pull you out. Draw in with Michael. It reminds me of you ever Mr. Squiggle. Oh, that'd be before your time, wouldn't yeah. it? You wouldn't know Mr. Squiggle. Was that, yeah, you don't know what it is, or yeah, you know Yeah, what I don't know what it is. Oh I was my waiting God. for you. You don't know what Mr. Squiggle is? No. How old am I? Uh, I, I can tacky tacky if you want, or you can tacky tacky. You want to tacky tacky? I'll tacky tacky. Tacky tacky! It reminds me of George of the Jungle, you know the toucan? Yeah. Tacky tacky! Tacky tacky! You singing Cher again? Yeah. That's the last song we sang when we were doing exhaust. <laughs> what is it we share and build an exhaust? I do the twist. Mm. Remember that song? Yeah. You probably, it's probably before your time. Before my time, I don't even know who Mr. Squiggle is. <laughs> you know Mr. Squiggle? Yes. When were you born? 94. 94. When were you born? 96. Alright, so obviously 95 is about the cutoff era when you know Mr. Squiggle, who Mr. Squiggle is. <laughs> that must be the cutoff for all these young kids these it days. It must be. See, I know Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues? Yeah, yeah I know I Blue's know. Clues. Blues, I know. Bear in the big blue house? Yeah, of course. Uh, what do you I remember Play School? Yeah. Cheese TV? Yeah, Cheese TV. Or do you know Toaster? Toaster TV. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, Toaster TV would probably be your yeah, generation. No, I remember Cheese, and then it switched to Toaster pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. And then it went to something else. Pretty quickly for him, long for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, do you know why I'm going to do all these tacks? Why? Because this one gets wrapped. Ah. So the wilds don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. No, they're, they're not great, but you know, you're not going to see them, so. This is why we heat wrap for safety and hydation. And hydation. For hydation. Hydation purposes. Uh, 30 mil. If it was like your car. Guy, I'm sounding like that guy up from Gold Rider. <laughs> but that's not the right <laughs> 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 It is just one boom tube, isn't it? It is, it it's really is. I have a feeling this is going to be super loud. <laughs> the muffler that we have is nowhere near. The muffler is like the size of the exhaust block. <laughs> it's honestly the smallest muffler <laughs> I've seen in any of my cars. And not to mention it's a straight through exhaust too. Oh, straight through muffler. The muffler's actually hilarious. That's it. It's raining bolts! <laughs> See it Can I just hold your hands though? Because I don't want to touch the. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> I want to spread my wings. <laughs> Alright, now seriously, help me. Oh, fine, watch out, watch out. <laughs>